The following is an address by the Minister for Health, the Honorable Nicholas Steele. Fellow Grenadians, these past few weeks, in the wake of reports of a resurgence of the influenza A H1N1 virus and an increase in the presence of the mosquito-borne Zika virus in the Caribbean community, my ministry has been at the forefront on all levels taking the necessary action to educate and protect our citizens. Our surveillance at major ports of entry in recent weeks has increased. Public education and awareness are ongoing. Mosquito fogging operations are also ongoing. Likewise, stakeholder involvement on our best and most effective approach towards confronting the challenges associated with these viruses and how best to respond in the protecting of our citizens. Let me assure you that as Minister responsible for health, I will continue to make every possible intervention on your behalf to ensure that we do all we can to keep these viruses at bay. Brothers and sisters, although we have taken the lead and promised to remain vigilant and at the forefront of this national response, I must remind every citizen that they too have a responsibility to protect themselves by taking the necessary steps to prevent being bitten by mosquitoes, keeping their surroundings and environment clean from mosquito breeding sites, using insect repellents, mosquito nets, practicing proper hand and cough hygiene, and most importantly, listening to the advice from the Ministry of Health and your personal physician. To date, my ministry has sent out fact sheets on the Zika virus to churches, educational institutions, the trade unions, the hotel sector, and other organizations for distribution. We have also started to air public service announcements on the radio and television. Healthcare professionals from the ministry will be engaged in another series of walkabouts later this week. The fact that we now have cases of Zika in Barbados and H1N1 in neighboring Trinidad means that we must be mindful that these viruses can be introduced here at any time due to our porous borders and the frequency of international travel. Finally, I would like to clearly state that to date there are no reported cases of the H1N1 or Zika virus in our country. However, I implore you, regardless of your affiliation or perceptions, to support the ministry in its continued efforts to prevent these viruses from reaching our shores. I thank you. The preceding was an address from the Minister for Health, the Honorable Nicholas Steele.